and it is time for another another vid another rather strange ridiculous vid but this is about my days in the postal service about a guy I haven't thought about in years he was a supervisor and let's face it let, let's let's be a little diplomatic here he wasn't exactly the picture of health <laughs> He looked pretty bad. I mean, really bad. He must have been in his 50s, but he... <laughs> and his name was Leo. So, here he is. It's called Mortality. Okay, so, here it is. One. <clears throat> Leo, like death, worked as a 204B supervisor in training, that is back when I was pitching mail and trying to change the postal world. The veins in his forehead and neck could be seen from, the Staten, I from Staten Island and resembled uh, a, a road map, a, a detailed road map of the stretch from Harrison to East Aurora, New York, up Buffalo Way. Leo liked death made an extra six dollars and thirty eight cents an hour as a 204 B so that he could have more so that he could live faster and therefore die sooner <laughs> if that weren't enough he had just gotten married to his mail-ordered bride from an Asian island nation which couldn't be pronounced who evidently had an uncanny sense of timing and knew just when to return to the television after the commercials and also knew when to sneak back into the house after making extra money on her secret part-time job. <laughs> 2. Leo like death. The color of a boil being lanced. Ah, but Mrs. Mail Order doesn't care as she treats her pus-colored prints like an incontinent cash machine with a terminal illness apparently waiting for Leo to do what comes naturally <laughs> apparently uh, to my knowledge apparently she has never bought him any green bananas Leo like death is in the process of violating article 13 of the collective bargaining agreement by working feverishly on junk mail <gasps> but you never call it that <laughs> Not in the postal service. <sighs> ah, yes. But Leo, like death, was depriving a bargaining unit non supervisory worker of gainful employment opportunity so that Leo, the 204B, could make himself and his bosses look good. I would have done the step one grievance, but I was unable to obtain any time off of the workroom floor in order to do my shop steward duties. 3. It did not matter, however, as the grievance was promptly resolved when the daytime shop steward found lifeless Leo head first in a sack at the bulk mail rack. He damn near got dispatched to the DVD facility with the daily BBM bulk business mail but we referred to it affectionately as big bell movement <laughs> or third class mail which was its proper term as I ponder my own mortality from the leprosy colored lifeless Leo uh, after he had done what comes naturally he he taught me life's three greatest lessons one Get yourself a mail order bride, uh, preferably from an unpronounceable country. Pronto! <laughs> Two, do not ever, ever violate the collective bargaining agreement, the CBA, since God is obviously a very high ranking union official. Three, don't buy any green bananas. Ah. <laughs> uh, Leo did what comes naturally. Rest in peace. I miss you, Leo. I don't know why. But I miss you. End poem. <laughs>
you notice this this has the Bukowski vibe going here the you know the the storytelling type of vibe that Bukowski was and I say Bukowski I don't say Bukowski a polyglot like myself I wouldn't be caught dead saying Bukowski I'd call it say Bukowski it's a Polish name but anyway be that as it may um, I've become liberated when I discovered this style when I saw Bukowski uh, do this kind of thing and when I delved into the beautiful world of prose poetry and uh, it made a lot of sense to me the, the Rilkes and the Baudelaire's and I gotta thank um, um, Mr. Pete for that um, Ronald Pete from the old website you know we had our differences but you know I gotta thank him for that he, he sent me the stuff and I studied it and it's made a big difference and that's what we gotta do we can't worry about who's given us counsel if the counsel is good take it if the if if the advice if the criticism is good take it you know doesn't matter if it comes from a, a combination of Saddam Hussein Idi Amin Muammar Gaddafi Adolf Hitler and Rush Limbaugh not necessarily in that order uh, <laughs> doesn't matter you take it and you use it and we'll profit from it and that's what writers should do we should learn for each, from each other not necessarily like each other but we should learn anyway thank you for watching and I got another vid I think coming up on this what is it yeah I got another vid coming up it's a lot cheerier than this one <laughs> okay thanks for watching bye